Hey guys, it's Lex here with another dreaded list video. Nah, I'm only kidding, you know I don't like list videos, but I feel I should do some now and then, like seasons and stuff. So, someone mentioned you should probably do a winter list video, and I figured, you know what, fuck it. So I've tried to make this a little bit more unique, instead of it being the same shit every year, I mixed this up a bit. So as a result of me mixing it up, some people might be thinking, why the fuck did you put that there? But I put it there anyway. This is just the list I came up with in about 10 minutes. I just decided, you know what, I'm not going to ponder this. I'm just going to think, right, winter. Five cents I can wear. Boom, 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 boom. Right away. And this is what I've come up with. So, you know, it's starting to get cold, you know, not very good, you know, and it's Monday, you know, the Monday blues. But I think I've got a solution. So I was digging around some VHS tapes today. I know VHS, remember that shit? Yeah. Unless you are born after the year 2000, at which point you can go fuck yourself. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, I was digging around some VHS tapes and I actually found uh, some footage of my cousin, um, Bex, um, who was doing his audition for the 1986 National Aerobics Championship, sponsored by Crystal Light. Remember that as well? I don't, but again, I'm in the UK, what the fuck would I know? But uh, Bex uh, lived in the States and uh, he looks, well, he looked... Um, very similar to me, if not identical, and his house, the layout of his house and his room and stuff were, were almost identical to mine. I, I know, what what a coincidence, I mean, I, I can barely believe it, but, you know, watching his footage, I think, you know, will cheer you up. I mean, he didn't get into the finals, sadly, the poor guy. He was high on coke and kuros when he done this, but, you know, I, I think it's a, a nice thing. You know, uh, let's just get on with it. <clears throat> That aspect ratio there is a bit wide for a 1980s home video, which it totally is, by the way, and not something that was made by me in disguised. Uh, yeah, um, I mean, just the poor guy didn't even didn't even qualify for the finals, you know. Guess it must have been his drug addiction, his addiction to Kuros and whatever else. What a shame. He was a real troubled man, our Bex. You know, he's probably dead now and reincarnated as someone else. You know, imagine that. I mean, I was born in 92 and that was 86 and he was, you know, going a bit crazy then, so... He done himself in in 90, wait, wait, when did he die? 92 and I was born in 92. Fuck it, we're not going there. On to the list. This is getting freaky now, damn it. Jesus. Anyway, <laughs> number five is Yope Home. Now, I really should be giving this a bit more attention. I don't talk about it as much. Um, and I, it's mainly because Yope hasn't really brought itself out of my life as much now, you know. Um, ever since I smelled Lapidus, Yope just sat in the side. Um, but really, it is a great scent. It's really strong. This bottle, I think, is from 2010, 2011, uh, something like that. Uh, so it's it's before it started to get really watered down to the point it was beyond a joke. Um, so not too bad. Uh, but I actually like this a lot. I just think there's some things it's a bit simple. So there's our scents. Even older scents, scents the same price range that do a better job. But I still think this is a a great scent. It's strong, it smells sweet, you know, cold air, wind, hail, it's got to cut right through that and project no matter what, the weather ain't going to do shit to this. This thing is Arnold Schwarzenegger um, fighting kindergartens, man, it won't, it won't, it'll do it with his fucking pinky finger. Uh, and it smells awesome. Got my hand right now, and this sprayer's a fucking beast, look at this! Whoosh. All sprayers should be this, it should be the fucking law. Donald Trump going on about the Chinese not shit, fuck that! Who cares about that? Donald Trump should be giving it the Yoke Home bottle should have the, all the spears should be like a Yoke Home bottle, you know? And if CNN don't agree, they're idiots. <laughs> but anyway, on to number four. So, Ultra Mal by Gautier. I know some people might be thinking, why is this not high up on the list? Well, you'll find out when you watch the rest of the video. Fucking be patient, you fucking asshole. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> let's just calm down. Um, but. Um, I wasn't really too sure about this. I had my doubts about the performance. If you watched my video, you already know when stuff got us about the same time as I got the 1 million. Uh, but really, I was going to me. I loved it when I first sniffed it, and it's really strong. And I just think it's a really, it's a modern powerhouse, this one is. And I, again, it's got the really whoosh, sprayer. Um, smells sweet, smells sexy. It's almost like a more refined black excess in a way, in a way. 
I mean, it's, it's powerful on me. It took a, about a good 10 mil or so to go down, as you can see here, before it started to really amp up and kick in, which is weird. I've had it with some bottles. It is rare, but it can happen. Um, but this was one of those cases. And it's really strong. It smells awesome. For winter, I think it's a great scent. Um, I'd say if you're going clubbing in winter, I know a lot of people go that, you know, for Christmas and stuff. Um, I know some clubs do special deals and drinks and that. I don't know because I don't go clubbing because when I get a drink in me, I want to fucking break people's spines. Uh, but I'm an asshole, so you shouldn't listen to me. <laughs> but um, really good scent. Again, I don't talk about this one nearly as much, and I really should. Um, that's my number four, Ultramal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Damn good scent. Next up, another scent I really haven't talked about. I used to talk about it all the time to the point where people are sick of fucking hearing about it from me. 24 Gold, not the Oud Edition, the original. The Oud Edition's nice, but it smells a bit too one million -y, but still a damn good scent. As I mentioned in my review, 10 out of 10 for this, 9 out of 10 for the Oud Edition. So they're still in the excellent, very good categories. So, uh, my bottle's a fucking mess. But uh, besides that, this one is decent sprayer. And this one is a bit more on the Christmassy winter side of things. It's got this sort of um, gourmandy, almost chocolatey, sort of sweet vanilla, oody woody. Um, sweetness vibe going in there, mind you, candy stuff, Christmas cake, that sort of stuff, you know, things you associate with winter. I say this, you know, presuming that not everyone is Christian. I'm an atheist, but I do celebrate the whole thing because my parents um, celebrate it. So, I mean, I don't mind. It's free fucking gifts. I ain't going to say no to that shit. You're fucking stupid. Like, but anyway, let's get off that topic. <laughs> Number three, this is just great. It's super strong and olfactory fatigue is, this thing is just filled with it, man. You will wear... Too many sprays of this too often. Uh, you will think, oh, I can't really smell it, and you're filling the room. Um, really strong, really nice. I I'm not sure if it's easy to get now. That what I went through a period where you could get this everywhere, and then it disappeared, and then you could get it in some places, and it disappeared, and it was fucking annoying. So, I think you can still get it. I got this at a fragrance shop, um, so hopefully. But great smell, great performance, and a damn good winter Fucking scent. happy. Thank you, Logitech, for not jacking off anymore. I'm really happy. I won't have to fucking fist your wife's asshole. But anyway, my number two <laughs> is Montal Intense Cafe. Again, one I used to fucking rant and rave about. is the greatest thing ever, and I haven't talked about it often because I do try and mix it up. But awesome bottle, you've noticed. Remember this? Montal! Cheap Montal for sale! Fucking street vendor on Coke. Um... Intense Cafe is awesome. Um, not only does it look gorgeous, um, the spears are a wee bit meh, but I'm telling you, it's, it's perfectly fine for this scent because this is pretty strong shit. I put that on the wrong way, didn't I? I hate these Montel things. I need to have them perfect. It's, it's like an obsession. It needs to sit like that. There we go. So, right off the bat, lovely coffee vibe. Sort of chocolatey, not chocolatey, um, warm, sort of nice, sexy coffee vibe. Some rose in there. The coffee doesn't last too long, it sort of dissipates within the first half hour on this one. But the rose, you can still sort of pick it out once you're looking for it. Um, either way, it's still a nice, warm, sexy scent. Um, really, really strong. Perfect for colder weather. It could be a fucking blizzard out there. This will still project. This does not give a fuck. And this is the Paris version, just to clarify. Um, you can see there. If you're confused what I'm talking about, uh, just Google, there's a Montel comparison video I made. I think it's the only video on the internet at the moment. I'm not sure. I think it still is, which is fucking ridiculous that no one else has bought to improve on what I said in that video. But hey, um, Google for that video if you want to know the whole Paris thing. And there's plenty of shit on base notes. But this one is really nice smelling, really sexy, really strong. Perfect for like, this is quite upper class smelling. Upper class, classy upmarket smelling. It's a like, um... A white collar office party, Christmas party. This would be a great thing to wear, in my honest opinion, for something like that. Um, in my honest opinion, I think it would be great for it. So, yeah, and my number one. What would Lex choose as his number one winter scent? Well, another scent which I really haven't talked about. And that's why I like this list so much. It gave me a chance to talk about some more things that I've not really acknowledged as much. So, yeah, and this is a house that I absolutely love. And I don't talk about way too as, as often as I should. So this is Aqua de Palma's Colonia Oud. And my God, this this is just... I mean, you saw that there. That whoosh out the bottle. This Oud thing here is... Wow. I mean, this is one of the scents that sort of opened my eyes. When I first sniffed it, I thought it was nice. And I went for a period of... No, uh, I'm not really a big fan of it. And I went for a period of... I like it, but I'm not sure if it gets compliments. And uh, when I, I, mean, I was working retail and I wore this... And everyone fucking loved this. Everyone was like, wow, that smells amazing. And I'm just like, oud, 
and it gets compliments. My eyes were like, wow. My dick was like, wow, as well. But that's beside the point, you know. Sexual harassment and all that. It's not really allowed. So, I kept my mouth and my pants shut. <laughs> I hope so. I knew where all the cameras were in that place. So, I could if I wanted to. Just saying. <laughs> Night shift, you bet your ass, man. Um, hardly anyone's going to be in in New Year's. I'll work. Are you going to be in? Denise? Will Denise be in? Yeah, Denise with the big tits. Will she be in? So it'll be like just me and her on the floor. Yeah, I'll happily walk. I'll walk for fucking free. Um, <laughs> I'm waving this. But, uh, but this is a really nice rich scent. It's not too expensive. It is not cheap. But it's not Creed and Tom Ford prices. Um, but it certainly smells in that range. It's, I mean, you, you will not know that this, this didn't... You would think this is Tom Ford. But it smells really nice. It's really, really strong. You might think it's not performing. Again, I'll fat your fatigue, but this will fill a room and leave a massive chill. This thing has excellent sillage. So for colder weather, a rich, warm, lovely smell. This is my number one pick. So if you can get your hands on it, do try it out. So yeah, guys, that's my top five winter scents video. It's been ages since I've done a video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As usual, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Join Powerhouse Kings. Don't be a fucking pussy or I'll find out and kick your ass out. And please be, in fact, no, do be a pussy because then we can all make fun of you. That shit will be hilarious. That'll make my Christmas because, you know, I'm a sick fuck. But anyway, um, leave your feedback in the comments below. Send my YouTube message. Contact me on Facebook. Blah, blah, blah. You know the routine and the golden rule. Keep on smelling fly. And tell me what Santa's bringing you for Christmas because Santa's bringing me an Oculus Rift. Santa fucking better bring me one or Santa's gonna get his balls towed, prick. It's like the time he said, I can't fix your Sega Lex, so I brought you a new PlayStation. Okay, so the elves can build a PlayStation, but they can't fix my Sega. That's fucking bullshit and everybody knows it. Santa is a lying motherfucker.